Look to the deepest secrets of different bills. Hey, don't go dim me, you need it, I got it listed, yeah. You wanna make it, I'll show you just how to make it, yeah. I got all the rarest bills, and I ain't done, yeah. I'm from the finish to making bills like a prospect. Flow space and slashes to catching us with a lot threat. You keep the medals, cause the real ones coming up next. Only scratch the surface. Still, they try to drag my name in dirt, they try to bring me down. See me when you ain't like me. Yo, what's good, my nephews and nieces? This is your favorite uncle, Uncle Demi, and today I have another special banger for you, all right? Now listen, before we get too far in this video, you know exactly what you need to do. Make sure you drop a like, and let's get this video to at least 1,000 likes. That'll definitely push the video to the recommended. And furthermore, if you haven't done so already, make sure you subscribe. I'm by far the hardest working YouTuber in 2K community, and hopefully you can appreciate the 9 a.m. and the 5 p.m. daily uploads, and you can show that appreciation by dropping a like and subscribing, all right? Now, Let's get straight into this video. Today we're going to be looking at how you can make this ridiculous catfish build with Hall of Fame shooting and of course finishing. This is by far one of the, I guess you can say, um, rare finds that I get usually this deep into 2K. But for me to be able to have this type of build, I was like, yo, I got to get it out there to the public. So here it is. So we want to go small forward. Uh, doesn't matter if you're right, hand, right or left handed, of course. Um, again, we're going to go with the mostly shooting and a little bit of finishing. So we're going with this pie chart here. And then what we're going to do is go with the pure speed pie chart, right? So that's where we're going to go there. And then what we're going to do is this. We're going to just max out our driving layup and our driving dunk. That's it, okay? That's all we're going to do there. Then we're going to go ahead and go 73 on our mid-range shot, max out our three-point shot and our free throw for 18 shooting badge upgrades. Then, of course, you got to max out everything here. And the reason why we're doing that is because we want to get as much playmaking badges as possible. So now we have 17. Then you want to max out your interior defense. Very important. <clears throat> Excuse me. You max out interior defense because this actually is um, what's going to give you the name. So you need to do that. All right. Then max out your perimeter, your lateral quickness, your steals, your offensive and defensive rebound, and that remaining left over for your block. I always now do not really put much an emphasis on block because it's more of an animation base. So as long as you just have bronze chase down, you'll get blocks. But offensive rebound and defensive rebound are important, man. Like, you just got to have it. If you're not, you're going to see a big difference. Even if you have rebound chaser, it doesn't matter. You're just not going to be getting rebounds like that. So this is very important. That's why I have now um, stopped upgrading block and started upgrading offensive rebound. So what we're looking at is 1, 18, 17, and 7. Again, really good bad stack, but what makes this build really deadly is the fact of the name and then what it's actually going to be able to do. Um, so we want to go body type. You do want to go compact here because we're going to add a lot of weight. Uh, you do want to stay 6'7", and then you want to get your weight to 265 pounds. And why do you want to go 265? Because 265 will get you at uh interior defense of 65 all right so you want to have a 65 interior defense so that's the reason why we're doing that okay and then on your wingspan you want to get that all the way up no not all the way up but just to um to 88 and the reason why you want to go 88 is because you want to keep that name so you want to go 88 here do not go 89 stay at 88 all right so now let's talk about a few things so you do get a plus eight to your physicals you get a plus four from 95 to 99 overall and then you get the other plus four by doing either of these three things. Either A, you want to go to my career. Now, you do want to play every single game until you become a starter. And then once you become a starter, you can sim out the rest of the regular season. You do need to play every single game um, in the playoffs and, of course, win a championship. And then the following season, you will get the gym rat badge. Then you have option B, which I think is the best option. That is just going to the Gatorade facility. Every um, Gatorade facility, you want to talk to the guy at the entrance, and he's going to give you a quest. And that quest is to hit level 40 in the season. So we're in season eight. Um, so if you hit level 40 in season eight, you will get the gym rat badge for this build. But if you want to get it for every build you have made, you just need to load into the park and make sure each build you have made talks to the guy at the Gary facility and accepts the quest. Okay. So that's very important, but you will get the gym rat badge for doing that. And then you have option C, which is of course, go to the Gary facility every seven days and doing your workout. But regardless what you're looking at, that plus eight, you're having 84 speed. You have an 80 acceleration an 80 vert and a 70 strength so this is like pretty balanced man like the strength everything about this build is really well balanced so again i think that what really puts a different type of outlook on this build is because it's just going to have a different type of feel when you're when you're dribbling and moving around it okay and then check this out you're finishing shooting playmaking defense slash rebounding you do get a 77 driving dunk you get an 81 i'm sorry 81 driving dunk and a 77 driving layup so just think about this it's a 3 and d wing catfish and it's going to give you an 81 driving dunk for contact dunks, okay? 
So now what you want to do with your shooting, you get a 74 um, mid-range shot. You get an 81 three ball, which is very important here. So you better shoot really well. So you get an 81 three-point shot and an 81 driving dunk, which is pretty dope. Then um, you get a 95 free throw if you want that. And then your playmaking, you get an 80 pass accuracy, a 75 ball handle, which is very important because that's going to give you the pro dribble animation. So this build will be able to dribble. And you get 79 post control also. And then defensively, it's going to be pretty balanced, man. 69 interior, 78 perimeter, 74 lateral quickness, 77 steal, 65 offensive rebound, and a 73 defensive rebound. So all in all, really balanced type build, different catfish-like, and there's some options here. Check this out. So now you have what I think will be pretty dope is the half slashing um, take with this. So you're going to get contact dunks with this build, which is just unheard of to think about contact dunks and it's called a 3d wing um you're gonna just be able to do so many different things with this build because now that ball handle 75 becomes 85 you're gonna be able to do some more dribbling so to me i think this is just crazy right all around this is just a really really rare find a 3d wing a contact dunking 3d wing all right so now let's do this let's test this build out real quick let's get 99 and we'll get you out of here okay so um let's max this all the way out here boom um, you want to just go posterizer, just get down on bronze, doesn't really matter. Um, and then you're going to go here with your sniper, you want to get the Hall of Fame sniper. Um, and then again, like it's, it's just all about if you're going to be the main shooter. Like if you want to be like, if you want to be the one to dribbling and stuff like that, which I don't think that's the best thing to do, but I do think it'd be dope to go something like this, okay? So there's options here for you, okay? Um, so then I would do something like this um, get your green machine, hot zone hunter, sniper, and stop and pop. With catch and shoot, so again, catch and shoot is going to be good if you just happen to run a corner and spot up, and then your blinders, okay? I like this type of setup. Um, or you can go all out and just be a straight up spot up shooter. You can do that also, but I think this is some versatility by going here. Um, and then the same thing here, man. Quick chain, quick first step, handles for days, hyperdrive on bronze, unpluckable on silver, bell out. And then you can get your tight handles right get that on gold because again you can get those animations of stunning people and then i like to hit with like stop and go or maybe bullet passer or something like that but regardless this build is going to have that versatility you can even again get your glue hands to be able to get um a better animation so you catch and shoot so there's some options there with the 17. and then here of course you want to get your rebound chaser your rim protector your chase down artist and then of course you do want to try to get that intimidator to be in the paint but that one left over, I can probably go Hustler. But this is what I will look at um, as far as this. Now, this build should be playing center, all right? It shouldn't be playing anything else. It should play center with a lockdown and a guard. And I think you should cook up, okay? But anyway, there you have it, my nephews and nieces. This is the contact dunking catfish 3 and D on uh, wing at small forward position. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. If you did, just make sure you drop a like, you subscribe to the channel. And as usual, your favorite old head, Uncle Demi, I'll be back really, really soon with the banger. You know, when I say back soon with the banger, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm talking about tomorrow, man. I'm out. <laughs>